So this, uh, this crow has, has been living in the New Hampshire woods all its life. It's never left the woods, it's never even seen a road. It's just been living right there in that little knot of trees. And uh, one day he wakes up and he's been, I got wings. I'd go see some stuff. So he says, I'm out of here. So he flies out of the New Hampshire woods, he flies all the way to Boston, lands on a wire, looks down at all the traffic and goes, Ka, ka. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, you probably like it because you're Jersey, right? Yeah. You're fun of the people in the north. Yeah. Yeah. Boss. God, I, I had a gig once and. Uh... Let's, let's listen in. I appreciate it. Two jokes a set. <laughs> oh, are you disappointed? <laughs> totally okay with that. <laughs> well, what can I do for you? I should do a Jersey song. I've got one. Uh, see, I gotta do the harmonica on here. I gotta, gotta pull out the Springsteen Bob Dylan thing here. So you know how I'm on the East Coast. Gotta pretend I'm on the East Coast. So I, yeah, I lived in Jersey City in '85. I used to play the streets of Manhattan. I played in the subways. I went from Jersey City into the Ninth Street Path Station. Oh, that's by me. Is that by you? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I got tickets in there. I should have known that I didn't play right in front of the cameras. <laughs> under the camera, they wouldn't know. And I was in there playing uh, the open mic nights at Folk City, which is where. Yeah. Dylan and um, Simon and Garfunkel and Joe Baez all used to play. Open mic night and uh, Sunny Oaks was the was the host. Oh, cool. Yeah. She hosted every other week. I loved her. She was really kind to me. Californian. I would call from Jersey City and they would save a good spot for me because I knew I was coming in on the path train to play. They were nice to me. <clears throat> Nobody else was. But... <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. 
Seven hours is quite a spell To wait around in a holding cell But you can sure enjoy yourself A strip search and fingerprints This and more for easins happened to be in 85. I wrote this song in 88. It took me three years to get over it. <laughs> and I, I'm not making excuses. It was a stupid thing to do. So, you know, but it was pretty extreme. And I got strip searched more than once. <laughs> and, uh, and times changed. So, uh, I don't know, within the next eight years or so, I was I was driving around touring somewhere, and my mom knew where I was going to be and sent me an article in the Associated Press about a woman in Buffalo, New York, who had the same thing happen to her, strip search, fingerprint, and thrown in jail for jumping over her turnstile. And time to change, so she sued the Buffalo police for $900,000. <laughs> I got a song out of it. <laughs> Send her CD. <laughs> Send her lawyer one too. Never heard back. That's what I was they didn't want to share. <laughs> and uh, so you'll find out at the end of the song why I, I shouldn't play here in Jersey. But uh, <laughs> thought I was safe. I was playing in Pennsylvania a few years after that. Uh, probably in the 90s sometime. And I played this song, and there was a Jersey cop in the audience. After the show, he goes, you know, I can take you in. So I gave him a CD, too. He's <laughs> 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 a bribe. That night I slept in a dishy blanket, my stomach empty, and a wooden mattress. Bars around me, right or wrong. But I left New Jersey, haven't paid him yet, and I never will. I paid enough for the overkill. 